Greetings. Today we have unusual transportations, might even have to walk, to a place where we might see familiar faces, and faces that are recognizable, that we may only remember in our dreams. A place of imagination. A place that's kind of surreal and a little bit different. So we'll hop on the bandwagon, follow them around, and see what kind of world this brings us into. To me, this is a day in the life at Wasteland Weekend, a post-apocalyptic festival in the desert. Here we are driving towards the gates of Wasteland City. Camped outside the gates of Wasteland Cities are travelers and vagabonds, craftspeople, tradespeople, entertainers, vendors. They all come here in search of their better selves. People uh, camp outside of the gates of Wasteland City and within the gates of Wasteland City are your services. Here I stopped at Wasteland Communications where they have a post office. I decided to become the postman. Went out and I delivered mail to Wastelanders out there. I figured this was a great way to meet people, also hear the, see the lay of the land and hear any news that might be going on. Here we see this war rig taking people around. Yeah, kind of a, a wasteland bus service, so to speak. If you need to get to one place or another, you might be able to hitch a ride with them. So what is Wasteland Weekend? Well, it's a post-apocalyptic festival in the desert. As you can kind of tell, it's kind of Mad Max road warrior based theme and that's how it got its start however that's not necessarily the case we encourage people to come in their own character so to speak now it is a full immersion event and that means that you have to kind of be in character and at least in dress throughout the event now some people go beyond that and they their camps are post-apocalyptic looking and vehicles and such uh, you don't necessarily need to do that. We, there are accommodations for those who might not have a themed camp or if you're bringing your RV and such. And over the weekend, it's host to about three to 4,000 people. So when I was out delivering mail as the postman, came across the Mushroom Cloud Lounge in the Baron and noticed that there was an arms deal taking place with War Chief Grimm and the Northern Nomads. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And then when I went outside, there was a car show going on. It always impresses me the amount of imagination and craftsmanship that people put into creating these, these post-apocalyptic machines. Even though it's early fall, it still gets hot out in the desert, and with the wind, I was feeling a little bit parched. So I made it over to the daytime cool spot, the nighttime hot spot, called the Rec Room. It's fucking amazing. I mean, except for all the trash hanging out here, but you know, good times. So what are some of the rules of Wasteland Weekend? Well, one is there's no weapons allowed. Everything that you see that looks like a weapon is actually a prop. Also, have mutual respect for everybody. Don't be a dick. Also, try and refrain from real wor world issues like uh, religion and politics and such. Uh, here it's an immersion event, so what they want to do is kind of create this uh, feeling of a post-apocalyptic world, and thus you want to kind of pertain to things that are relevant to that. Well, here it is getting to be the afternoon and came across a post-apocalyptic fashion show. It's pretty amazing the creativity these folks have in creating costumes. There's also a Japanese film crew there, yeah, visiting from Japan to film the event. So paying homage to the inspiration for Wasteland Weekend, uh, we were treated to a ceremonial gate opening by Lord Humongous himself and other characters from The Road Warrior. Mayor Heist, what do you think about pardoning these 
gun runners in punishing the simply one of the aspects of immersion in wasteland weekend is live action role play and we saw earlier that there was an arms deal well war chief grim has succumbed to his activities in wasteland weekend with his arms deals and of course politics takes place and he gets extricated from wasteland city war chief grim your actions have earned you a blessing from cat Reed himself kneel before your god this is not your end but your beginning may your path be paved in war and hatred They will be remembered when they pass from this world. This world is cheap. This world is pain. This world is grim. <laughs> we will remember War Chief Grim. And who forged his own law. A law that says it is the righteous who determine what is just. Let the deeds of this day be recorded in the pages of history so that those who come after us can determine what is true. War Chief Grimm, the Wastelander remembers you. Well, after the events of the day, I decided to get myself a can of Spam and some Twinkies and have myself some dinner and then find a place to go and relax. And sure enough, I ended up back in the rec room where it was hosted to some entertainment for the evening. After a bout of live music, they had a karaoke contest, and boy, that was pretty entertaining and funny. In the evening, uh, music entertainment tends to take uh, center stage, so to speak. Not only is there a lot of amateurs, but there's even uh, professional people playing on, on the main stages. Uh, there's also other forms of entertainment, and I'll let you use your imagination on that. I think there's something for everybody in the evening. Even if you just want to sit back and, and relax, uh, that's good enough. During the day, there's a lot of workshops that take place, and I think there's something for everybody, all different levels, uh, to experience something at Wasteland Weekend. Thank you, Morton Joe. Hey, thank you for coming to the rest room. We're going to be shutting down tonight, so thank you, thank you. Exit safely. Go enjoy the win. Well, after uh, listening to some musical entertainment, I decided to try my luck at gambling. Made it over to the Last Chance Casino where I met a sassy roulette dealer. And uh, again, they took all my caps. Well, modern day currency is somewhat shunned upon at Wasteland Weekend. Uh, they do have other forms of currency, such as caps that you can win at the casino. Uh, barter and trade is highly encouraged. Uh, and it can be as simple as uh, donating services to uh, another camp and such. And uh, that way you could procure um, items that you may need, like uh, beverage and, and food and such. Well, as the evening waned, I found myself atop uh, an astute exclusive club in Wasteland City and hanging out with the camaraderie of fellow Wastelanders, 
reminiscing of the events of the day and things to come. Well, if you enjoyed this video about Wasteland Weekend and might find yourself there, that hopefully someday we'll meet amongst the rubble and laugh together. Sincerely, a friend that you've yet to meet.